welcome back. So we did have a lot of sunshine has made our way through the day today. A few passing clouds working their way in later on to the afternoon. They're over us right now, so we'll call it partly cloudy skies out there. We did make it into the lower 80s, and we're staying at 78 degrees right now at Scotts Bluff. A little breezy, those west-northwesterly winds around 16 to 26 miles per hour. Dew point is around 35 degrees, so a little dry. Other temperatures show that we are into the mid to upper 70s. Alliance, Shadron, Gordon, Harrison at 69, but 77 at Bridgeport, 79 at Oshkosh, 74 out toward Kimball. Here's a look at the winds, still mainly from a west-northwesterly direction. Uh, pretty breezy as you make your way south of Scotts Bluff. Those wind speeds sustain 20 to 25 miles per hour. Some of the strongest gusts on here are wind gusts to 30 to 35 miles per hour across the panhandle. That westerly wind pretty dry, so uh, most of the moisture missing is well off to the south and off to the east. We have mainly clear skies over us right now and just a few clouds, say, between the I-25 corridor and the Nebraska state border into portions of central Wyoming. That is it for the moisture across most of the viewing area right now, just in the form of clouds. This high pressure system is working its way off to the east and with it go the rain into the Midwest and Northeast and the cool air. Now, the high is going to give us a really nice surge of warm air. We did make it into the lower 80s today. Could be into the mid, maybe some upper 80s tomorrow. That easily happens ahead of a cold front making its way through. And there are chances for some moisture as we make our way through the weekend. So here's a look at the sky cast. Uh, partly cloudy skies lasting through the overnight. Uh, temperatures starting off tomorrow into the upper 40s and lower 50s. Sunshine in the morning, then an increase in the clouds by later on today. You see the green on the map. There is chances for some isolated showers, maybe a rumble of thunder as we make our way through the late afternoon into the evening. Most of the severe weather uh, will be into portions of central and then eastern Nebraska. And then as we go through the overnight into Sunday, into the mid-40s, could be some remnant rain showers, maybe a rumble of thunder for the day on Sunday. But it will be cooler with those highs only into the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Here's how it looks like on the wide map, that high working its way out. There's that surge of warm air. Now, the strongest storms are definitely going to be into portions of central Nebraska. But we could get some showers behind the cold front for tomorrow evening and for the day on Friday. High pressure working its way in. Now, we're going to have a, a slightly cooler flow for uh, Sunday and into the first part of Monday. But this high really is going to warm us up through next week. Let's take a look at the weather outlook for Sunday. That jet stream really moving off to the north, the cool air back into the northeast, and uh, the warm air from the south really filtering in. Now, we do have that shower chance on uh, Sunday, but most of the rain is going to be either east of us or west of us. And uh, the windy conditions, the windiest conditions, are going to be into the desert southwest. Could be a little breezy, but really uh, nothing that bad compared to where we have been in terms of those strong winds. So let's take a look at the extended forecast. 86 tomorrow, the surge of warm air ahead of that cold front that could give us some uh, showers, maybe a rumble of thunder Saturday into Sunday. High of 70 on Sunday, then 73 on Monday with mostly sunny skies. A little breezy out there, 75 on Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're back to a warm weather pattern. 70s, even some lower 80s. Partly cloudy skies through the afternoon on those days, into the evening, maybe some showers and thunderstorms to break the heat. Angel? Thanks, Justin. The Kentucky Derby is coming tomorrow, and we have a preview for you now.